Hey, good morning. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. You know, after I'd been up for a little bit this morning, I started reading an article and I read how not one woman has passed the Marine Corps infantry officer test. And then I saw a headline yesterday, I think, about women in special operations or something like that. And I was going to go off and, and <clears throat> do a rant on that. And I got to thinking about kind of how I would structure the video. And uh, I decided, nope. I'm not going to talk about women. I'm going to talk about men. I'm going to talk about American men. Because if you are the average American male, and if you're a woman watching this video, cool. I'm talking about, you know, the men in your life, perhaps. You know, the average American male in your life. The average American male is weak. He's irresponsible. He's irreverent. And uh, he's immature. And he's the problem. The average American male is the problem with our society today, and our society is going down. You know, it's easy to to look back, you know, for somebody my age, I was born in the 60s, and I can look back and see, you know, women's liberation when it started, and I can see how that was an attempt, a successful attempt, uh, by people uh, to change our society and to change it for the worse. It was the breakup of the American family. You know, you combine that with abortion and, and look at what's going on. You combine that with welfare and look at it. And it, it's easy to go back there and blame those things. But blaming other people, uh, blaming other agencies, other things, instead of taking personal responsibility, uh, that's never a good idea. We always should look with, with, within and decide, you know, what is the problem and what can I do to fix it? It's like I did a video recently on Jade Helm that people, you know, hated me for, which is fine. And then I did another video where I said, okay, let's suppose you're right and Jade Helm's a martial law thing. Uh, what are you going to do about it? Well, if you look at the comments on that video, they're not going to do anything about it. They're just going to sit there and run their yaps. And who are they? American males. Um, so, I made some comments, I made some accusations. Let's, let's look at them, you know. One of them I said was that they're immature. American men are immature. They are! You know, a, a 20, 30 year old, let alone 40, 50, 60 year old, has no business playing video games. You know, World of Warcraft, I don't even think that's a video game. Or Tora Duty or Call of Duty or, you know, I, obviously I don't play these things, right? <laughs> but there's too many men who are out there just playing these video games and they're all into them and they talk to them. What are you doing playing games? That's immature, right? There's too many men who they want to go out with their buddies all the time and, you know, get drunk and, <laughs> and look at this, I really got that guy on YouTube. Really? Really? That's immature, right? That's childish. That's something that eighth graders do. I mean, really, it is. Uh, and men ought not to be doing that. Men should be doing manly things, right? Um, irresponsible. There is a huge problem in our society uh, with men not being responsible for their women and their children. There are way, way too many American children out there without a daddy. They were created by a father. I'm talking a physical, earthly father. So where's that father? How can men go out there and spread their seed all around and have children and then just walk away? Irresponsible. And it's killing our society. Um, the government helps support this, yes, but it still comes back down to men not taking responsibility for their actions. Um, there, there is no reason a man should walk away. And that... You know, that's actually what got me on this video. Female Boy Scout leaders. You know, why are there female troop leaders? Because men aren't stepping up. Why aren't men stepping up? Because they're immature, irresponsible, not taking responsibility for, for what they do and, and their children and their women. You got to get some responsibility. You really do. It's like, no, I don't. Yeah, that's immature. And irresponsible. And it's ruining our country. And things are about to change drastically in this country, and not necessarily either for the better. Um, I said you're irreverent. Men are irreverent. They don't revere God. You know, God uh, made our first duty as men to provide, right? To work. Work. What's your woman doing working if you don't have three jobs? 
If you don't have three jobs, if you are not busting your tail, getting home, having six hours to clean up, get some food in your yap, get a little sleep, and get back out and, and, and earn some money, earn a living, you know, produce something for your family, your woman has no reason, no purpose, uh, no need to work if you're not just busting your tail. Why are you doing that? Why is your woman working outside the home? Who's raising the babies? See, that's another problem with our society, that our children aren't raised by us. They don't get our values. They get the man's values. The most important job in the world is being a mom. That's an important job, and we've just, as a society, have gotten rid of it. And why have we gotten rid of it? Because men have failed to lead in their homes. Makes me sad. You know, I started out kind of snarky and, and uh, ranty a little bit, but it really makes me sad about how we as men are acting in this society. Um, I was having a talk one time with a bunch of guys, uh, most of whom were white, <coughs> in an office. And we were just talking about, you know, our great grandfathers. Why? I don't know. You know, my great grandfather was a coal miner, got off the boat from Germany in, in America. So we're going around the horn, and there was this one guy, uh, Sergeant Sanders. He was black, and I and I did a quick math in my head. You know, he all right. His grandfather wasn't a slave. All right, cool. Hey, Sergeant Sanders, what did your great grandfather do? And he looked at me with disgust, and he goes, "I don't even know who my father was." I'm like, "You don't?" He's like, "Sir, 75% of blacks grow up in a house without a father." I didn't believe him, so I went and looked it up. That was true. Well. 50% of whites are growing up in broken homes. That's a terrible thing. And it's the men's fault. It's the men's fault. Don't blame it on somebody else. You're being irresponsible. You're being immature. You're focusing on things that aren't important. God said to work, to provide. What are you doing sitting on the porch? What are you doing watching YouTube all day? What are you doing? Work, provide. All that stems from a lack of respect for God. You know, what is the whole duty of man? Ecclesiastes 12, 13. The whole duty of man is to fear God and keep the commandments. If we as men did that, if we as men stood up, took responsibility, you know, provided for our families, protected our families, you can't protect your wife by putting her on a subway train and sending her into the city to work. You can't protect your wife whether you recognize her as such or not, by letting her wander off and, and walk away in the world, you certainly can't protect your wife by you impregnating her and then you walking away. You're not being a man. Be a man. Take charge. Start at home. Do the things that God wants you to do. I didn't say beat your wife and, and be a dictator at home. You've got to live a life like Christ. You have to be worthy of respect in the home. That's another problem too, isn't it? You're not living a life that's worthy of respect. You're not living a life where people can look up to you, where your wife or your kids can look up to you. It's time to man up. Hard times are coming. It's past time that you become a man. All right, I'll see you out there.